<clears throat> you know, I did a lot of thinking recently about a couple of things, but the idea that there are people out here who are broke and people who are out here who have never had a girlfriend ever now girls and this is not to have a, a bias between the sexes because I'm sure there are some girls out there that have never had a boyfriend etc cetera, etc cetera. but it ne it's never as severe I feel as it is for young men or just men in general right see men men deal with and i want to preface this that i have a girlfriend so anybody that wants to hit the comments on some troll shit saying oh you just saying it because he's his blah, blah, blah. i have a girlfriend so miss me with that but the thing for men is that they're held to such a supremely high standard in terms of the attraction pool for women right women typically when you're asking women on an average base they all give around the same answer they want a guy that's stronger looking than them more dominant in some way whether it's their intelligence their height their strength way to carry themselves a little bit more confident this that and third and so that leaves a lot of men i'd say a good about 90 plus percent men on the wayside you know depending on what it is that is the selling point right because some women they'll they'll settle some women will settle for the guy that's just uh, he's a little bit above average he's okay you know what i'm saying but you know yeah <laughs> if if you ask if you were to ask a room of 100 women honestly anonymously right they, you get these results anonymously they leave their thoughts they submit it and then everybody goes back to where they're at i would tell you a large majority of those women would want a man that is of some higher caliber than them right whether it's looks money strength status overall intelligence whatever it is they want that man over the man that's just like them on the same level as them or even underneath them. It's really a reality of life. But for some reason, women try to run away from that reality as opposed to just accepting it for what it is. And they do it because they're not trying to hurt soft men who go around and it's the funniest thing ever. They do all this crying and complaining about why women are, their standards are so high and this, that, and the third. And sorry, fellas, but I'm gonna call it how it is. You guys have gotten so soft. You guys have gotten extremely soft. See, a man before used to just deal with what life has dealt him and work to get the best out of it. But men nowadays, they just kind of surrender. They go they go a couple of, of years, maybe they're adolescents when everybody's immature as fuck and wants to just talk shit about each other all the time. They let that a that's that section of their life dictate the entire rest of it. Why? Especially with everything we have nowadays. We have skincare products, we have dental plans out the wazoo we have dental treatments we have hair treatments we have all types of things that can change everything for you you can go to the gym start a gym membership you can get on all types of different dieting programs they have all types of stuff nowadays as opposed to back then but back then people just dealt with problems better they didn't complain so much about the fact that they were in that they were in in a, a crisis or they they had an issue what they did what they did is they simply dealt with the issue but nowadays now i will say the standard for men is very high very high and it's something that a lot of women need to be a little bit more realistic about because you'll have some of the 
and I'm I'm gonna be very blunt. These are very, these are very like not very attractive women. These are very unattractive women for the most part, and they have this extremely high standard for a man that they want that they don't even. <laughs> let's be honest, a man like that has so many more options, and he was gonna choose you. Again, you're probably not going to like what I have to say. That's fine. Everybody has an opinion. That's okay. But what I will say is that everybody needs to be a little bit more realistic, right? Women, you need to be more realistic with your standards. That doesn't mean lower them to an absolute bare minimum. But just be a bit more realistic. Be a little bit more forgiving. A lot of women are very strict with their standards. And men, you guys have to stop being so soft enough is enough with the soft shit you want a girlfriend hmm <laughs> you want a woman to come and be your girl <laughs> guess what you need to stop being so damn soft the last thing a woman wants when she is getting a boyfriend <laughs> is a dude that they have to feel like they have to babysit and coddle a man that if they are met with any resistance, they're going to crumble. How does how think about this? Say you guys go and you get in a relationship and you spend your whole life with this woman. But you're the type of guy that complains about everything that's hard in life and cries and, and, and whimpers and and and, and owl boo boo at every fucking thing that happens in life. Why would she choose you over all the other dominant men in life that she could get with? Toughen up. Toughen up. Sorry. Not sorry. Toughen up. It's time for us as men to understand it's time to get back to the roots. Okay. It's time to get back to a more... <sighs> A more masculine era obviously I, my view on the world is not so close-minded i think it's all black and white i think overall we all play a part in what's happening with men and women in the dating market men you have a part to play women you have a part to play and men it all starts with us <laughs> you gotta you want to fix the problem you have to start with yourself start becoming more masculine you'll see how it goes Stop being so emotional. If she decides to reject you, whatever, brush her off your shoulders, go to the next bitch. You know what the thing is, is that there are so many women in the world. Why are you so frustrated and so dejected by one rejection? Think about that. Does that make any sense? She could have been bad. She could have been so beautiful and oh my gosh. And you felt you had this connection with her, even though you've never talked to her before, by the way. Listen, I'm going to be real. If you're a guy that's never had a girlfriend, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think you go and talk to enough girls. You probably need to work on your confidence. Work on your confidence. Then work on your talking skills. Work on your game. And then start working from there. Not every girl right away, as soon as you finish getting in the hyperbolic time chamber and working on your craft, is going to want to go out with you. Okay, let's be honest. But you have to just keep trying. That's the point. Sorry, I'm going to stand up real quick. Ugh, my knees are getting kind of kind of tight. <clears throat> Plus, I think that's better lighting for you guys anyways. So, good on me. But yeah. Fellas. It's time to change, okay? And the last little tidbit I'm going to talk about, um, people's perception on being broke or not being so successful or this, that, third. Listen, you don't have to be super rich to be successful, okay? And you can make money pretty simply. I think I've said this before, but making money is not really all that hard. People like to default blame their circumstances all the time. Like, it's some consistent thing like oh my god my circumstances like i just cannot save money there are small minuscule things <laughs> you know that you can do to take care 
of your funds. There are little miscellaneous things that every one of us do that we know if we just cut that shit out, we could save more money while dealing with our circumstances. Because trust me, I come from a background where I had absolutely nothing for two whole years. So trust me when I say, stop blaming your circumstances. Stop blaming your circumstances. Because me, I had to look back and I'm like, man, if I just stopped doing X, Y, and Z, and I started doing A, B, and C, I could have saved up so much munyan. I could have saved up so much money. Now that I'm implementing that same strategy that I thought about then, nowadays, huh, I'm saving up so much money. I ain't rich, but I got way more in the bank than I ever have had. And that's because I started implementing that strategy. And if I keep doing that, I guarantee you I'll be making about six figures in the next two, three years. Use your brain. I think that's the moral of the story. Because like I say at the end of all these videos, every good story, every good video ends with a good moral of the story, a good lesson to be taught. So what's the lesson here? Najee. Well, the lesson is don't be so soft to everything that happens in life everyone's dealing with some shit everybody has a circumstance what circumstance you start with does not define you what defines you is how you attack that circumstance be brave have some heart and take on that challenge anyways y'all <clears throat> it's been your boy Najee I'm gonna go ahead and get inside It's kind of cold outside I think my hand's about to freeze on the phone So That's gonna be it for tonight I'll see you guys tomorrow for another upload And yeah Peace out Bye